The storm may have passed, but the cleanup is just beginning. That's why we headed out here to the South Carolina Emergency Management Division today to get a feel for what the state is doing in the wake of Hurricane Florence. Here at the South Carolina Emergency Operations Center, it's all hands on deck. The past few days here have been very busy at the state's emergency operations center. SCEMD Chief of Public Information Derek Becker met with us earlier today to take us through what the division did leading up to Hurricane Florence and how the storm is still impacting South Carolina. We've been trying to predict or, or as accurately predict as we can where the flooding is going to go after Hurricane Florence. Flooding is the chief danger in South Carolina now, and Becker says water in some regions could reach dangerous levels. So we are looking at potential evacuations, maybe 30,000 people, um, 6,000 in Georgetown, 24,000 in Myrtle Beach. We're just not sure yet. And for those in the PD region that could be seeing flood evacuations, Becker has some important advice. Now's not the time to, to waste time. You've got to be able to act and move immediately if you're asked to do so. So even though the storm has passed, we're not out of the woods yet. People's lives are still in harm's way. The fight against Florence continues for South Carolina. While we were here, we also really got a sense of the breadth of this storm, just how impactful it was. And officials here told us that we could be dealing with the after effects for years to come. In Columbia, Grace McKenna, Carolina News. Back to you in the studio.